In most situations, using Sibelius and a modern uh, MIDI keyboard, you can enter notes easily just by first clicking where you want to enter the notes. You have to do this. So if I play without clicking, nothing happens. So I'm going to click here where I want to play, select my note value, and start playing. Playing a bit too quickly and not in the live performance. So it's making chords. But if you are not having anything happen still, your MIDI keyboard is attached, turned on the rest of it, and no MIDI data comes in when you click and play the notes. Um, here are some other things to look for. One is that the keyboard may be listed inside of Sibelius but not ticked to be turned on. So to check that, go to the file or the equivalent of it and find where it has preferences. I'm using Sibelius 7.5 here on a Mac again. And then you're going to want to go to Input Devices. Well, I'm using this keyboard called Remote SL. So it has here Remote SL Port 1, 2, and 3. It has this really hard to see little gray tick here, but um, if it didn't, no MIDI would come in. I'm going to click that back on. Okay, So make sure that you have the name of your keyboard or some type of USB or MIDI connection here. It says MIDI keyboard. And then make sure that the little box next to it is ticked. If the box isn't ticked with a check mark there, no MIDI will come into your system. Next thing is, if nothing shows up, click Find New Input Devices. Here nothing happens with mine because they're already there, but if you have nothing there, it might show it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with my MIDI keyboard, and notice here it shows in this test area that I'm getting a MIDI input. The little green thing shows that I'm hitting it there. So that's going to happen if it's properly connected. Okay. So if that's not the case, none of that's showing up, the next thing to check out is on a Mac, you want to go to the Audio MIDI Studio Setup. To find your Audio MIDI program, you're going to need to go into your Utilities folder on your Mac. So go to the Finder, and you can go to the Go menu. and go to Utilities. I'm looking for this one, Audio MIDI Setup. I'm just going to open this up. Here you should see the name of your keyboard. You'll probably see a bunch of other stuff too, but it should be, you should see the name of your keyboard or MIDI input device, and it should also be um, highlighted here. It should be lit up. Next, if you hit Test here, when you play your MIDI keyboard, you should see a little arrow light up where MIDI is going. Here it's going into the computer, so it says input, and input lights up blue when I click it. If you're not seeing anything, you may want to rescan it. It'll look again for stuff on your computer. Go ahead and click this again so it turns off from its testing mode. So those are the two most basic ways to try to troubleshoot your Mac to see if you can get MIDI into it.